All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, on this video, we're going to talk about uh, Twitter for your business. We'll look at our settings screen. Now before that, I want to say that if you go back and watch the Google Plus video series that I set up, a lot of what you do there can also be applied here. So go back if you haven't seen that. But let's look at some things here in our settings screen, uh, specifically notifications and such. So go up to the settings, a little gear, and then select settings. And there's a bunch of screens here to, to look at. Let's take a moment to look at them. So username, email, language, looks good. Hmm, time zone, wrong time zone. So you want to check that you're on the right time zone. Content, show me the content of the US, but you can change it to other places if you'd like. That might be cool to see different perspectives. Twitter, me, tweet media, do not inform me before showing media that may be sensitive. So be careful here. If uh, you're following people that uh, perhaps uh, have uh, sensitive media, violent stuff, you might not want to see it. Uh, so uh, the default is that it's on and you can turn it off. Don't inform me of that. I do want to be informed. Mark media I tweet as containing material that may be sensitive. Nope, I'm just tweeting about cakes and cookies and good stuff, so I don't need to turn that on. Later on, as you start to build up Twitter and do tweets and retweets and pictures and all of that, you can actually download everything for safekeeping. So here, actually, I needed to save because I changed the time zone. This is also the screen where you can deactivate the account. Uh, let me change. Let me fix this. Uh, sometimes when you change some of these things, you need to put in a password. Then your settings get changed. But anyway, here's where you can deactivate the account if you want to give up on Twitter. No problem. Security and privacy. Login verification. There's different things you can fill out. You can s set up here. Uh, you can look at on your own about um, more security to your Twitter account, such as verifications that get sent to your phone or to an app. If you want to reset your password, you can make it a little harder to do. Privacy, allow anyone to tag me in photos. So someone posts a photo, they can then tag you on the photo, you'll get the notification. Or if you don't want that, only people I follow can tag me. I think that's a little bit safer a little bit uh, less prone to harassment or even better uh, if you need to not allow anyone to uh, post uh, tag you in a photo you're probably safe with the one in the middle those that you follow Twitter is a public medium but if you want to limit it only to certain people that you want to, uh, to see uh, your content you can protect your tweets I do not recommend that, however, because oftentimes Twitter for Business is a public forum and a dialogue, not a monologue. Tweet location. You can add location information to your tweets. So let's say you're at your business and you're having a sale on the weekend and you're posting pictures of what's going on. You can add the location to it so people can see a map and go to the business. That's up to you to turn on if you'd like. Discoverability, let others find me by my email address. So if that's an email address that's related to the business and people search it, they could find you. Um, so you may decide to turn that on or off. Tailor tweets based on my recent website visits. That's what we saw when we were setting up Twitter. Promoted content, tailor ads based on information shared by ad partners. This lets Twitter display ads about things you've already shown interest in. Now again, you're going to keep getting ads. You can't opt out of ads but you can get um, uh, tweets or ads based on what you do online and what you like. So I'm going to change that. It's going to keep confirming a password, perhaps. Saved. Uh, payments and orders. Um, Twitter is implementing a new feature where you can buy things from just the click of a tweet. And so that can be set up here under Payments and Orders and view your recent purchases. Twitter works great on mobile also. So if you download the app, you'll be able to tweet on the go. You've also got these, this option for this option for um, mm, tweeting with text messages which I don't really recommend use the app 
email notifications. You'll probably want to look at this screen because this shows you you're going to get emails, lots of emails, on a variety of, of uh, topics. Uh, not topics, but um, well, if we look here, email me when my tweets are marked as favorites. Email me when my tweets are mentioned. Email me when my tweets are retweeted. Email me when I've been mentioned. So at the moment, they're all turned on, but only tailored for you, which means anyone that you've interacted with or follows you. If you're a business, you probably want to get notifications of everything from everyone so you could deal with everything remember this is for your business not your personal friends and family type of thing so I would recommend get tweets or get emails about everything from everyone of course you can tailor it however you want email me when my retweets are marked as favorites yes my retweets are retweeted yes I want to know about it activity from your network this one I would recommend turn this one off email me with top tweets and stories sent periodically no I'll use Twitter when I want updates about activity from my Twitter all of these I would just turn these all off mm, I don't trust the recommendations and such but you can leave them on see how you like it and then decide to turn it off later Email me with news about Twitter products and features. Nope. Twips, tips on getting more out of Twitter. Maybe. If you're new to Twitter, you might want to read those. Things I missed since I last logged in. Nope. I'll get I'll get to it when I log in. News about Twitter on partner products and other third-party services. Nope. I just want to focus on Twitter. Participation in Twitter search surveys. Mm, up to you to decide if you want to contribute. Suggestions about people I may know on Twitter. Maybe I want to connect with people and I haven't got around to it, this will suggest to me. Suggestions based on my recent follows. Yep, that's fine. Again, decide what you like. That's what's happening on my emails. Web notifications, which is up on notifications up here. Web notifications are currently disabled. Uh, these settings do not change your location. Um, Muted accounts, don't worry about that. Profile, again, we've seen that. Design, we've seen that. You can connect Twitter with other apps. None are connected, so I've got nothing. And then widgets. Again, our extra features to Twitter. Don't need to worry about it just yet. Let me backtrack about muted accounts. Um, I can follow an account, but if they are spending all day tweeting about the Super Bowl, for example, and you don't care about the Super Bowl, you don't want to see those on your timeline, you can mute a person. So, for example, uh, if I go to me and I go to following, this will show me everyone I'm following, and let's say at the moment um, I don't care to read what the New York Times is, is writing about here. So I can go to the gear more actions and um, you've got the option of, of unfollow of course but then here you've got uh, block or report and you've got mute so gets a little speaker here that I will no longer see these things on my main home timeline and that's why when you go back to settings and muted accounts you can see people listed here so turn it off back to normal so you want to look at your settings decide what works for you email me if you've got a question and Twitter is what you make of it. So start to follow accounts, tweet to accounts, post your own content, reply, retweet, favorite, explore. There's a few other things to look at, but that's the good thing about Twitter, that it's pretty easy to use. You get a little bit of a guidance, and then you can have at it. So that was our section on Twitter for business. Thanks for watching.